Many people love Japanese hot hatches and just the hot hatch market in general. I've got to say I had a quite a bit of a passion for it for a number of years. It's died off somewhat recently because it's become boring, to be honest. Gasoline powered hot hatches, they've barely changed in a decade. Power and torque figures, they're all sort of similar. But something interesting is about to happen. Electric hot hatches are going to take over. Honda has announced that the final gasoline powered Type R has just gone on sale. The next version, it's going to be powered by an interesting type of battery. In fact, Honda Type R may never exist because Honda may never actually have access to this type of battery. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for coming on and welcome back everyone else. If you're new to the channel or you're just watching the videos for the first time, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications in your feed of our videos. We do around six videos per day covering pretty much all the news going on in the electric vehicle industry, battery technology and renewable energy. Honda Civic Type R, it's considered right now right up there. It might be the king of the hot hatches. Some people love it. It's front wheel drive, of course. But Honda's saying now, that the next version of the Type R will have solid state batteries. I'm not sure Honda actually understands how long it's going to take for those batteries to come to market and just how expensive they are actually going to be. I mean, the Honda Civic Type R, I mean, it's been priced at say around 45,000 US dollars. That's about the approximate price, but with a solid state battery, if those exist before 2030 in the mass market, they're going to be expensive. So how much would the new Type R cost? I don't know. But hey, if this happens, it's actually quite exciting. Imagine how much faster a Honda Civic Type R would be with solid state batteries and electric motors. It would absolutely put the current gasoline Type R to shame. Among the most praised performance cars worldwide, the Type R moniker has a place and the new generation model brings some significant changes, more power, better driving dynamics, and a sleeker aesthetic. It does look a lot better than the old model to me. Look like a boy racer car from Fast and the Furious. The new model, I've got to say, looks quite nice. However, the current generation Type R is clearly the final iteration of this car with a gasoline-powered engine. Honda has said the next replacement vehicle will have solid-state batteries, which they say will enable the car to charge incredibly fast, be more efficient, and produce insane amounts of power. They also claim it'll be very, very lightweight. The Civic Type R has always been an impressive performance car in the list of affordable performance cars. However, the Type R has gained weight over the years, mainly because of the added sound deadening materials, more technical features, luxury, more safety features, and it's gotten bigger. So adding an electric powertrain with a battery pack under the skin probably won't make the super duper enthusiast happy. I mean, realistically, there isn't any electric cars in the world with a manual transmission. The Honda Civic Type R, that's what it has. I don't believe anyone is planning on making a true manual transmission for EVs. It just doesn't make any sense. To retain its engineering superiority, Honda seems to have plans to follow in BMW and Porsche's footsteps and to use solid state batteries in the upcoming Type R model. According to Honda's managing officer, their solid state battery will be lighter than traditional battery packs and being lightweight is one of the crucial factors of a sports car, which is why Pagani insists on selling V12 powered hypercars, even when most of its competition is adding electrification. Personally, I think Honda is kind of not understanding exactly what's needed to make an electric car lightweight. And that's fair. They don't really make any of these right now. They do have one little one that they sell in a couple of little countries worldwide. But realistically, Honda sell a minuscule number of electric cars. So they're probably not all that experienced in manufacturing them. One of the keys to making an electric car lightweight is to do what Tesla does. Giga castings, structural battery packs, and making the batteries smaller. The combination of those three things is extremely important. You can also get next generation electric motors now, which are smaller and lighter. I made a video about those new generation motors, which Mercedes says are significantly smaller and more powerful than the old generation. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. However, Honda says that the other qualities of solid state batteries have been heralded for their use in the Type R. 
The CEO says a characteristic of solid state batteries is that they don't overheat, meaning that the cooling systems for these performance electric vehicles can be simplified in terms of size and weight. This means the Type R will benefit from the advanced battery technology potentially alongside upcoming Honda EVs. That's if Honda is still around and has enough money in the bank to actually make these cars. Now the newly unveiled Honda Prologue SUV, which now underpins GM's Ultium battery platform, could also be a global model in the future with the in-house developed solid state battery technology from General Motors. But General Motors is not really saying those battery packs are gonna come out at any one period in time because they're currently still under development. This could take five years, it could take 20 years. There's actually no way of knowing. But there is one thing we know for sure. The next generation Civic Type R regardless of the battery pack it ends up having. I doubt that it will in fact have a solid state battery pack, but regardless, it will be electric and it will be way faster than the current model. Cars like the Mercedes-Benz AMG 663S prove that electrification unlocks unimaginable amounts of power while reducing emissions. Now that car, the C63S, is the most complicated, convoluted, likely to blow up vehicle probably ever made. But the new Honda will be much simpler. It will be electric only. Now we can expect similar power figures, possibly even higher power figures than the C63S with the semis, if they do go the route of using a solid state battery. The current iteration of the car produces 306 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. Swapping the engine with dual electric motors, one at the back, one at the front, could give the car up to a thousand horsepower. Now I'm not saying that's what it'll come with, but Honda could easily put that kind of power in it. Considering the motors we're seeing now come on performance cars in China and other countries that are electric with massive amounts of power at fairly cheap prices, Honda will have to do that in order to compete with all the next generation EVs coming out over the next few years. Now, I'm not so sure Honda's gonna be around to make performance cars in a decade's time. I think they'll be struggling just to stay alive and performance cars won't actually be their priority. But people do love the Honda Civic Type R. So I personally hope it continues to live on. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think the next Honda Civic Type R will in fact have a solid state battery? Honda's saying that, I'm not convinced it's gonna happen, but let's wait and see. Thanks for watching again, bye-bye.